This is unquestionably the most powerful building in the financial world right now, and we are bringing you exclusive access to The whole agenda at the BRT is to do a couple of things, drive economic growth. What are the policies that will drive economic growth, middle class job creation? innovation, all right? And so you ask yourself, what can drive more investment, which will then be the, the byproduct, will be jobs. Tax reform continues to come at the top of everybody's list. We're after infrastructure tax reform, immigration. Just two or three relatively small pieces of this can make a big difference in the next 18 months if we can get it done. What do you most hear, hope to hear from the president today when he visits the business roundtable later this morning? I think it'll be great to hear what he's currently thinking about tax reform. Um, the extenders that have been coming up, those need, need to be taken care of. But the bigger piece of reform that needs to take place is very important for global competition. I mean, we are working against people from other countries that have a, an advantage, mm -hmm. and it's a reality. You know, taxes would be number one, uh, and regulation is right behind it. Um, you know, the, the bottom line is we, we have tax systems that have been put in place around the world that are not fit for purpose. We have a very different dynamic now than we did before. And I actually believe that this shift in the Senate in particular is going to be hugely beneficial to getting something done. In the wake of President Obama's announcement that he will take executive action on immigration, CEOs are calling on both Congress and the White House to work together. Let's start with this hot-button issue this morning with our guest, Greg Brown. He's the chairman and CEO of Motorola Solutions. He's also the chair of the Business Roundtable's Immigration Committee. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. So help us with this. You know, the immigration policy uh, gets announced. You come out with a statement. You are the head of the head of the head of the group. Are you? Are you? I couldn't really tell from reading your statement. Are you happy about what's happened or not? So look, at the end of the day, uh, things that keep immigration at the forefront of discussion, I and we are happy about. The executive action, yes, it's controversial. Yes, it makes things a little bit harder. But if Andrew, it serves as a catalyst to continue these conversations around immigration reform, I'm happy. Rex, you're also the chair of the Business Roundtable Education and Workforce Task Force, and this is a huge problem that's facing business right now, finding qualified employees. Can you describe how big of a problem it is based on what you hear from your members? Well, we just conducted a survey, Becky, uh, in conjunction with an organization called Change the Equation. We surveyed their member companies as well. And what we found is 98% of CEOs identify skills gap as a, as a serious issue for their companies. Mm -hmm. uh, today there are something north of 4 million jobs that are open simply because we cannot find the right skilled employees to fill those jobs. And then at the, at the skills gap level, because we can't, we can't just wait 12 years for the next uh, first grader to graduate mm -hmm. and fill that, we're working with a number of uh, programs with local community colleges to put in place curriculum that we are helping them design. Uh, that will train people, high school graduates, returning military veterans and others to fill the jobs we have. What we've done over the years is say to kids, look at if you don't get a four-year degree, it's not worth it for you to go to school. And we disagree with that. And what we've actually done is taken our telecommunications labs and we've put them into the community colleges. And what we do is we have our employees volunteer and go in and teach people that are taking classes in community college how to use our equipment. So when they come into our workforce and we hire from those classes, we already have a great head start on the training. 